Born and raised in San Francisco, California, John Lawrence Miller took up golf under the watchful eye of his father, Larry. At the age of 16, Miller was invited to join the Olympic Club as a junior golf section member and became the top player on its junior team. Three years later, Johnny qualified for the 66th U.S. Open at the Olympic Club, where the college freshman finished in the top 10 and won low amateur for the tournament. Seven years removed from the winner's circle and four years into his new career as an analyst for NBC Sports, Johnny Miller captured everyone's attention at the 1994 AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am. 20 years after his first win at Pebble Beach, the 46-year-old captured his final PGA Tour victory. Hey, you want to know the truth? I can't believe I won. I, I had this real calm feeling inside all day like it really wasn't happening. When Johnny Miller was at his peak, nobody could compare to his impeccable iron play. When Johnny was on, uh, uh, I don't think I've ever played with anybody that played better iron shots one right after another than Johnny Miller. I got where I was hitting the ball. My average iron shot was probably in the mid-70s, probably three, four, five feet offline average. I mean, it was going at the pin. Throughout his career, Johnny Miller dominated the desert courses of Arizona and Southern California. Rightfully nicknamed the Desert Fox, Miller collected two at the Phoenix Open, two at the Bob Hope Desert Classic, and a career-high four victories at the Tucson Open. If you ask Johnny Miller to rank his life achievements, fatherhood would be at the top of the list. A father of six children, Miller always made a point to put his family before golf. What are your plans now that you have one? Well, I am uh, going to take next week off. I've, as a lot of you know, I've got six children, and that's quite a responsibility. So I try not to play. If I played next week, I have to play four in a row, and I, I don't see myself leaving for a month. As the Miller family grew, Johnny spent more time away from the course and would fall to 111th on the PGA Tour money list. When my son did start going to first grade and they stopped going with me, it was, I just didn't feel like the golf was that important, that the family was more important, and I had, golf had to take a major backseat to, to home life. This, a few moments ago, was one of the miracle shots of our time. Johnny Miller smashing it against the boards and bouncing it out of the bunker to the left. Johnny Miller was never afraid to try new tricks. Even in his prime, Miller struggled with his putting and would try anything to improve his game. I was the first guy ever to build a long putter. I won the Sun City with my eyes closed. Um, I've tried wrist putting, uh, cross-handed putting, left-handed putting, one-handed putting. I know I've tried more ways of putting than any human that's ever played the game. On January 20th, 1990, Johnny Miller joined NBC Sports as lead golf analyst. From the first moment he stepped in the booth, Miller's candor and insight changed the way golf was viewed on TV. It's a shock to your system to see somebody do that. I mean, pros don't do that. Known for his straightforward and sometimes blunt remarks, Miller has earned multiple Emmy nominations throughout his career. He spoke about golf in a way that it had never been spoken about before. He used words that were never used. If you were a player and you were smart, you could learn from Johnny. Throughout his career, Johnny Miller collected two major victories. His first came at the 1973 U.S. Open at Oakmont. Miller went into the final round six shots off the lead, but would card nine birdies and just one bogey for a U.S. Open record of 63 to finish one stroke better than John Schlee. Well, that was a very special round, maybe even heaven sent, I don't know, but uh, uh, that's the round I always remember when I think of uh, my career and it seemed like it was meant to be and it just opened up the, the gates for Johnny Miller to do his thing in 74, five and six. Three years later, Miller collected his second major in dominating fashion at the Open Championship, winning by six over Jack Nicklaus and Seve Ballesteros. In a decade dominated by Jack Nicklaus and Tom Watson, Johnny Miller made a name for himself in 1974. Coming off his first major, Johnny reached the peak of his career, capturing eight tournaments during the season. Johnny Miller receiving the congratulations from Jack Nicklaus as the winner of the World Open Golf Championship at Pioneers, North Carolina. Miller's successful year earned him the PGA Tour Player of the Year award, making him the only golfer not named Nicklaus or Watson to win the award. 
In 1998, Johnny Miller's achievements on the PGA Tour were put on display as he was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame. Throughout his career, Miller was able to capture a total of 25 victories, 12 of which came in 1974 and 75, and he had the honor of playing on two Ryder Cup teams. When I was a kid, uh, my father made me love this game, and the secret of this game is love in the game. It really is. If you love this game, then none of it's hard work, is it?